why should you care about coming up with your own scientific question? So if you've joined a lab, there might be a number of well-defined questions already, right? People are thinking about projects and problems all the time, and they've probably written about them and outlined them, and it seems like there is some value in just taking advantage of all that work and picking up and running with it. And it's true that there are probably pieces of existing projects that are well-defined that are worth doing. But in parallel with that, it's also really important to focus on coming up with your own scientific question because it's a process that you need to learn and I would argue is at the heart of the value of graduate school. Okay, so it's not so much about the question that you land on, it's about getting really comfortable with this process by which you come up with one. One of the most critical aspects of graduate education is not necessarily learning all of the tools and all of the methods that are currently applied, because those tools and methods actually change quite rapidly, just from the time when I started as a PhD student to now. So those aren't necessarily the critical parts that are uh, important for graduate education, but instead, being able to develop the ability to ask the right question, to try and figure out how do we dive deeper to understanding the mechanisms or the basic biology of whatever system you're looking at, um, is really the critical essence of what graduate education should be about. There's a set of uh, kind of embarrassingly simple tools that uh, every student uh, needs to have. So I would say there's three. One is the capacity to identify uh, an important problem. And then the second is um, how to plan experiments that move that problem forward. And the third is to make good choices about which results to pursue and which ones to leave behind. So there's a toolkit. Choose an important problem, plan an experiment, decide what to do with your data. If the PhD topic suddenly were to go away, the properly armed student with the toolkit would say, it's okay, I can choose another important problem and plan an experiment and decide what to do with the results. Right? So that toolkit would be, it seems to me, the kind of fundamental thing that you'd want graduate students to uh, leave with. The ability to ask a scientific question, the ability to ask an interesting question, um, is one of the best gifts you get during graduate school. And I think it's also a transferable skill, because you can then, if you leave science, you can take it to places where the path is not yet clear. We know that places where things are simple have already been basically done by computers by now, right? The, the interesting questions in the 21st century are the ones where we we need a lot of skill to even ask the interesting question. And that's one amazing thing we can learn in graduate school. If you master that skill of engaging with a new problem and formulating a good plan to work on it, like that is the deepest transferable skill that you will take away from your PhD.